Jax. This is Left Side of the Brain. Like, share, and subscribe. You know, I was just sitting here thinking, man. You know, I, you know, I've been sitting in this parking lot for like the past probably like two hours, man. And I've just been, you know, napping, relaxing. And I realized the reason why is because... I don't see the need to really do anything, you know? And I know that sounds shallow, but what I mean is my, my spiritual understanding is starting to, is starting to go deeper into the way I react to it physically. You get what I'm saying? It's like spiritually I'm disconnected to this world. But now it's like I'm becoming more physically disconnected. And that's just another stage in the uh in the process of leaving the HPB room behind. You see, it's, you know, I was thinking to myself, I was like, am I getting lazy? Am I getting lethargic? Like, what is it? And what it is, is just me. Remember, I used to say becoming an observer. It's just me peeping everything and realizing that. Nothing I can do can change this world. And because of that, I realized there's no need to even try. There's no need to even, like I did everything I needed to do today. I went shopping, you know. After that, it was pretty much, it was pretty much a wrap. I got in my car. I let the seat back and I just took a nap. And I was thinking, I was like, you know, the Jags, they probably wondering like, what left saw I been, you know? And just been working on the book. So you may not see me post videos as much, but I'm working on the book, getting everything, you know, sharpened because that's the most important thing. And other than that, you know, I'm just disengaging even more, man. It's like none of this have any meaning to me. So that meaninglessness in this world is turning into relaxation. I'm becoming more and more relaxed every day. I'm just sitting back like this, like whatever. I'm not that engaged, you know, you know, people, you know, the latest political thing between Trump and Biden. I'm not even that's why you haven't seen me comment or do any videos on it. I did a few, but I didn't go in as deep as I probably would if this was happening uh, 2018 or something. It's like I don't care because none of that has anything to do with me anyway. The only thing that has something to do with me is understanding the HPB room and the secret wars that we speak about. That's the only thing I'm concerned with. Like everything else in this world, I already know that's an illusion. So I understand that you can't change an illusion and it's going to be whatever it's going to be. I can't, I can't kick Trump out of the White House. You know, I can't put Biden in the White House. Those things have already been decided, you know. So I'm just sitting back, you know, taking it all in and whatever and just relaxing, man. There's no need to try, man. There's no need to try. Just just give it up. Now when I say give it up, don't give up on yourself, but just give up just give up on this world, man. It's like, 
Like I was hearing somebody um they was talking about um some actor who put on a dress or something. And they was making a big fuss about it and people giving their different opinions on it on YouTube and whatever. And I was just saying to myself, I don't care. If the dude want to wear a dress, let him wear a dress. I don't care about that stuff. In fact, I wish I wish all of these fat um I can't say that word. I wish all of these individuals, the Rainbow Society people, I just want them to come out of the closet, man. I'm not trying to prevent them from doing what they want to do. Let them wear dresses. I don't care. I don't care about this stuff, man. I don't care what that dude, what kind of dress he put on. That don't got nothing to do with me. That's for people who still sleep and still trying to have babies. You the dumb one. Why you want to bring in a gang of children into this world if you got such a uh, problem with a man wearing a dress? You already know what type of society we live in. You already know it's 2020 and it's only going to get worse. So what's the big fuss about? If you believe in the Bible, then these things was already prophesied to happen. It said in the end times that all that hell would be vomiting up everything. The pits of hell. So why why are you complaining? Why are you trying to fight against the inevitable? If anything, all of this crazy stuff should remind you that we live in the HPB realm. So that's how I look at it. I don't I don't look at it like, oh man, they need to stop doing this and that. I look at it like y'all just revealing yourself. I mean, that's that makes the job easier for me. Now I know who to avoid, where not to go, and I know to, you know, just to keep to myself. That's all you're doing. They're just helping me out. They're not affecting me. That's not going to make me wear a dress. You know, so I don't even see the big deal. And uh, I've just been chilling lately, man. Meditating. Like an urban monk. I'm a monk, but I still live in the urban, the urban world. You know what I'm saying? I live in the urban society. But my mind has been cleaned out from all of from all of the programming. I'm not trying to impress nobody. I'm just trying to live, man, and, and put out this information. That's all I'm doing. That's all I need to say. There's no need to try. I think that's what I'm going to title the video. No need to try. And that's today's message. Tell me what y'all think in the comment section below. This is Left Side of the Brain. Like, share, and subscribe. Jaguars up. HPB's down. Sign up.